What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with a semi-hot take and general review for the Walking Dead Season 10 finale, I guess, the proper finale for the bonus six episodes that they released in the pandemic for the um, season that we that would normally have been part of the regular season, but they released separately. So um, <clears throat> this episode is going to focus more on the, fin the finale we'll called Heroes and Negan, so season 10, episode 22. But I'm going to reference a, or do a couple of comparisons to the prior episodes. Um, just because the episode with Maggie was probably the more consequential one, the three after that were okay. Uh, or even the four after that. The one with um, Princess and Ezekiel and Yumiko was okay, but um, overall, because we had two Carol and Daryl episodes, um, it to me, it kind of messes with the flow of things. So as far as the season finale, the Here's Negan episode is probably the better one of the group of six. Uh, mostly because it ties to the first episode with um, Maggie um, and her return to the group. So overall, um, there was um, basically the connection is, is that uh, we have Carol taking Negan to a house to live on his own away from the community and notably away from... Um, Maggie just so that there's no issues and no confrontation and Maggie can live in peace with um, Herschel. Um, but beyond that, the rest of the episode is basically a prequel backstory filler episode for Negan for how he became who he is and how he be not necessarily how he directly became the king of the saviors, but how his character changed from pre-apocalypse into post-apocalypse. Um, and how we how we came to become who he was with the saviors. So overall, the the story was good because we get to see him, or we learn about him being a high school gym teacher. His initial, um, um, or we hear about the story with the uh, one of the parents of one of his, um, the students at his school and how he beat up the guy for disrespecting his wife, and um, he was essentially fired for it and had trouble finding a job after that um we learned that he bought a uh, leather jacket because he wanted to celebrate potentially having a job and how his wife lucille didn't like that um the trouble that they had with each other where they were having a sprain on their relationship um and but then lucille understood negan's feelings and she appreciated him for how he was um so Thinking about it after the episode, this reminded me a lot of the conversation we had back in season one of The Walking Dead with um, Rick and uh, now I'm drawing a blank on his the partner's name, but um, basically the conversation where Rick is talking about how um, him and his wife are having troubles and he would appreciate when his wife tells him what tell him what's wrong and then his wife was talk about how rick always hides his feelings so granted they get along because they appreciate each other but they kind of want their the wives want their husbands to be the opposite of who they are and the husbands appreciate their wives because of the way they are so kind of so Rick and Herschel are, or Rick and uh, Negan are actually quite a lot more similar than what they want to let on it's just that they handle the same situation in different ways and it's a conversation between Rick and Shane as far as Lori goes and then in this case Herschel thinking about his conversation with Lucille and Lucille talking to her uh, friend who Negan was having a relationship with, but we learned over the course of this episode that Negan more than made up for it because he showed remorse, he sh um, wanted to make up for it. he's a changed person and that he's doing, he did a lot of the things he did because he cares about his wife and wants to protect her. So overall, <coughs> these um, episodes reflected a lot of um 
what kind of character Negan had that he's a very protective person. Sometimes he goes overboard as far as how he takes care of things, but it's all under the same a similar idea and as Rick that he wants to protect people. He wants to sh he wants to um it's just how he shows things, I guess, is the way I want to go about it. But um, we, from there, at some point, we get to see during the time that, that Negan is taking care of Lucille that she has cancer and that he's he finds a mobile hospital and um, they give him the medicine he wants because that's the kind of people they are. And um, they realize that he showed up with a, a um, gun, that, an unloaded gun, so he, he was acting out of desperation. Um, and this is a scene where we see that the doctors were protecting themselves with a baseball bat, which is the origin of the bat version of um, Lucille. So all in all, a good backstory to fill that in. And we show that Negan made it back too late um, before his wife passed away from the cancer because she didn't receive um, enough treatment and the generator had failed so it was not keeping the medication um, cooled and frozen so um, a very heartbreaking scene there and we see the change that takes over Nika that because he no longer had the attachment to his wife that was keeping him to be a good person he could now be the person he was that he could control other people however he saw fit so it's kind of like that the speech by Ultron where I used to have strings, but now there's no strings on me. So um, Negan said it better probably in this case because with the whole conversation about seeing Red and the guy that held him um, prisoner, which caused him to return late to his wife. So um, Negan returning back there to um, take care of those guys and save the doctors because he led them into that situation was a good rounding out of the episode and um, overall a good reflection that we see the change that overcomes Negan because of the, his actions, actions of those guys and understanding human nature so a, very, a good episode to empathize with Negan and how he became who he became and to show that if he has a purpose to help other people that he's generally a good person but if he's given the opportunity to um, be the bad person and take things into his whole own hands he's gonna do th good things in the worst possible way so um, all in all if I was to grade the episode I would give it a grade of about uh, 95% a good solid A a good conclusion to this season and that or I don't know about the season but a good backstory episode for Negan that we now know more about his story and um, we understand more of his motivation so we can see why he did what why he did what he did with the saviors and that potentially he has that ability to be to redeem himself but understanding Maggie's point of view because of what he did and how he did it is really really hard to get to redeem him from that stuff so when it's one-on-one -on -one, like with Lucille and the guy from the gym the, um, that he beat up in his youth that's one thing but this is taking it several steps too far so uh, that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback of your own review, um, your own reviews and ideas of this episode, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for subscription links, supporting the show, or links to show on how to support the show, um, quick access to some recent episodes and all of that good stuff. The website and also quick access to past episodes and all of that good stuff as well and of course getting early access to content bonus content and all of that can be found on the patreon at patreon.com slash patel n01 but that's all there is for this particular review thanks for tuning in and until next time